How is it going today, Lois? Lois. Can I explain? My name's Jasmine. We're doing a jazz thing we have for you. Dark Phoenix movie review. Yes, just got back from seeing it. Oh yeah, so got a lot to talk about. Too. Yeah, shout out to you. Shout out to you. <laughs> A lot to talk about. If you guys have any rush requests, please follow us on social media and the link in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe. Let's get into it. So the year is 1975. You have a young child, Jean Grey, mm -hmm. and her powers cause a terrible, terrible accident. accident. Like all the other parents in any movie. Yep. <laughs> Superhero movie. Yep. And her parents seemingly died. And I say seemingly because we're going to wrap that back to, to the... But, so she when she was in the crash, she kind of made like a force field around her so she didn't get touched. And so since she was in the car crash, she didn't have a scratch on her, nothing was wrong. They were like, are you sure that she was even in it? Like, are you sure she was there? And they were like, yes, she is. And so because of that, they turned her over to Professor X who takes in children that are like that mm -hmm. and makes them feel like, you know, you're not, you're not an alien, nothing's wrong with you. You just, yep. you just have special, special powers and stuff. Special. You're not weird and everything. So he took her in, took her to the, um, to the school. Yeah, school for the gifted. And raised her when she was like eight, right? Yeah, eight. Eight years old. Then Up until now. Flash forward to mm -hmm. 1992, mm -hmm. and they have, they show us a spacecraft, and it is the Endeavor, and they're going into space, you know, for whatever they're gonna do. Yeah. And while they're in space, they're because of this big supernova, then the president calls Xavier to go help them, help, you know, They're people actually the helping States. people, yeah. yeah. Like, they actually have, like, the on-call, like, for X-Men. Because, you know, back in the past, they had them, like, labeling as mutants and, and wanted to kill them and stuff yeah. like that. So right now, it's kind of like a different setting yeah. and everything. And so they basically fly up there in their spaceship doing space stuff, and then they get up there, and then uh, basically they have Nightcrawler, Storm, uh, Cyclops, Quicksilver. Quicksilver, Mystique, and Beast. Mm-hmm. Think that's, everybody. that's everyone. Yeah. So, so they have a little cool scene where they have mm -hmm. they go in the spaceship and they use everyone's powers, abilities, and especially like Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler was Nightcrawler. heavily used. <laughs> yeah. So they and Storm transport was there too. People. Yeah. Storm was there too, and she like throws the ship. So they used everyone there, mm -hmm. and then they got after the first time they went in. Quicksilver had a nice little scene with him, you know, quickly unbuckling him, yeah, in space, and then Nightcrawler teleporting them into the ship. Mm -hmm. Then one of them said, "That's not all of us." So they had to go back in, and then he's like, yeah. "Can can a uh, gene control the spaceship and make sure that the air doesn't get in?" And so they mm -hmm. go back in and try to get the guy, and they get but, him out, but they yeah. didn't have enough time. The thing in space that was coming after them, it was coming at a very rapid pace, and yeah. so he didn't. Nightcrawler didn't have enough time to go back and go get Jean, and so she's kind of stuck in that. But she was absorbing all the of the power and the energy and everything, and then she absorbed it all, and then it was like a big explosion, but then it all came back inside of her. Mm -hmm. So it's like that power, whatever was floating around in space, is now in her. And everybody's kind of freaked out about it, because they thought that she was supposed to be dead, but and she she's not, and she was okay, acting like nothing happened. And they were just like, okay, trying to keep an eye on her, especially Cyclops, because you know they're a thing. Yeah, so. same thing. <laughs> so basically they have the whole, oh, are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. And then come to find out she's not okay. Aliens arrive. They, for some reason, yeah. <laughs> crash a dinner, kill the people. Kill and humans, then take, their, take form, their bodies. Of course, the regular human. The well, not thing. to get bodies. Well, yeah, take yeah, their bodies. Kind of but took just their like form, shape, 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 yep. Yeah. yeah. And, uh... They, I don't remember the alien's name, honestly. I don't remember. They didn't say much about the I don't aliens. Think they, the alien. they had their own little language. The name yeah. Was English. Um, and they had like, a big fan kinda, of the aliens. Really. They, they, it's really the aliens they really didn't have personality. It me. just was like you know they're here. It was like let's just throw these aliens in here. For, yeah. For like a plot effect. Yeah, we don't know why they came down here or what they're using that for. Yeah, in the movie. Yeah, basically that power that Jean Grey. Had, yeah, so. I, yeah, it didn't really you know. Oh, basically. Well, then, so basically, they go through all that. They find, you know, then her come to find out, um, Xavier's being kind of a dick and well, blocked her some of her memories. Reason. Blocked her memories. But he blocked her memories because, okay, so we found out that he blocked her memories because she was going in and out of her past and what happened with the car crash and things like that that she didn't want to remember is now coming back because yeah. the power that came within her is breaking down the mental block, kind of, that Xavier. Xavier had on her because mm -hmm. he wanted her to forget about that painful past of the child losing both of her parents and stuff. And come to find out, her dad is actually alive. So, because yeah. Because she went to his brain, because she could read minds too, and she went to his brain and saw that they were having a conversation, basically. About her. About her. And he was like, oh, she's a freak. Yeah, oh, saying that she's a freak and everything like that. And he was talking to Xavier after the accident. He had like a neck brace. So she was like, oh, he's not 
dead. She's not dead. And so but she, she wanted to mad go at him see him. She was like, oh, you're lying to me this whole time. And he was like, no, I was doing this to protect you. And he was saying that because the dad didn't want her anymore. Yep. After that car crash and he and she accidentally killed her mom, he was like, my whole world is gone, you know? Yeah. And so when she finally comes to see her father, he's not happy to see her. And she's noticing in the house that there's no photos of her anywhere. And she's that's just like, so you just tried to forget about me and you didn't try to look for me? And then that's what made her go into the, the big supernova phoenix again and everything like that. And then she was going crazy. And the X-Men knew that she was over there. So they went to yeah. go fly over there to try to stop that. And then they get into the little fight scene they had. Mm -hmm. Quicksilver, Storm throwing lightning bolts. They see the running arrow flash, she just moves stuff out the way. Um, then you see Nightcrawler get into and a little teleporting. Too. And the police, she just knocked the yeah, police she over. she knocks them out. <laughs> and then Xavier uses his mind power to essentially stop time, but he's just like stopping everyone else mm -hmm. to have Mystique talk to her. And then that's when Mystique dies. dies. She just, she's like, you can't help me, and just throws her. And then there's like a wooden plank and it just kills her. Yeah, a wooden plank from the house. I'm like, this is really how Mystique goes out. Yeah. Mystique goes out from a side paneling from the house. Like, I was just kind of like, you know, uh, okay. But then to think about it, Disney owns Fox now. Yeah. So they're kind of trying to end off everything. Yeah, so they're, they're really like, much ending off everything. It's like, you know, like, this, this movie kind of is the end of like. I feel like the Fox X Men story. Yeah. And I feel like that's out. why they named it Dark Phoenix instead of like X Men Dark Phoenix. Yeah. Because it's the end of X Men. It's the end of that. that. So. <laughs> so I, I enjoyed them a lot. And so then you have the mm -hmm. situation where she's just like, oh. My God, I can't believe I did this. And then she just flies in the sky away. She tries to find a home. <laughs> she goes towards Magneto, where he's housing people that are, you know, mutants as well. So it's he just has not there. Faction. Yeah, he has his own little faction separate from what Professor X has. And he sees blood on her shirt. He's asking her, where's that blood coming from? Mm -hmm. She knows whose blood it is. And she knows his relationship with her. And so she's not trying to say anything. The only reason he, she came asking. there, yeah, the only reason she came there was to yeah. ask, like, how do I control how do I my stop rage killing? and all that stuff like that because she killed a few people. Then he said, basically, he had, you just gotta let it go and stuff like that. And then you get to the, what is it, the third arc, and that's when the aliens find her, mm -hmm. and she's, like, disguised because of her power. She could disguise herself to look like somebody else. Yeah. Somehow they find her. They send her, they give her to New York to tell her about the whole, the, the power that she has and that she's able to control and create a new, whole new world and that they're not, they don't understand you and they never will. They always try yeah. to abandon you, you know, the whole world. And while that's happening, Beast is telling Magneto because he's trying to find her as well because he was in love with Raven, so he's trying to get revenge against Phoenix. And he goes and tells Magneto that Raven is dead because mm -hmm. she didn't tell him that. And so now he's like, well, I'm gonna kill her too. And so he has his own group that's with him, gonna back him up. So they're like, well, we're gonna fight with you. So now kind of like, as you remember like, remember like Civil War? Like yes. where they had like Iron Man versus and Captain, like, Captain America. America. Yeah. It's kind of like that same premise. Like Professor X's people again versus Magneto's people again. Like this side doesn't want to kill her. This, this side, side does want to kill her. So it's like they're fighting each other now to try to get to her. Basically. In the middle of New York, by the way, and while that's all happening, the government is like turning their back on them and like, oh yeah, because we're they put saw them, them fighting, the and then they're yeah. like, oh, they're dangerous again, and everything. Yeah, like, so like I'm they like, just turn quickly, yeah. and that's when um basically Magneto gets in there. They have, they all fight each other. Magneto gets in there, gets face to face with Phoenix and the alien lady, and then he's trying to kill her right then and there. But then her powerful is so strong that she's even more than enough. For him mm -hmm. and so she kind of makes him back down she yeah, crushes the his scene, skull crush the, crush the helmet that's yeah. supposed to stop the mind powers and just rips it and off rips it off and then pushes them out the window and yeah then that's when the, then government, they get called by the government the government has neutralizing darts and stuff I'm like yeah. why you, okay when did they They've get that this whole time. right and it just neutralizes everybody now they're on this train scene then i yeah. heard about the which train is scene. the most exciting scene of the it whole it felt like movie. a whole different movie i'm yeah. not gonna lie to you that was the most exciting part of the whole movie the movie was kind of okay so so the acting was great, okay? You know, James McAvoy, Xavier, you know. Magneto you know, was amazing. Everyone's acting was great. It was just the how they went about it. Even, yeah. even Jean Grey's acting was great. Mm -hmm. It's just the way it went about it. So this is the train scene, and it's like yeah. the third act, final act, and it just and everything. And the aliens are after her still, so they go and try to ambush the, the uh, train, and since that happened, and they let go of the heroes, yeah. so that they can go ahead and fight against the aliens, and then end up uh, getting Jean getting to Jean, like Professor yeah. Xavier had to go into her mind again and try to cool her down yeah. and remind her that this is like why I blocked your memories and everything because your dad didn't want you and yeah, we I wanted to you, bring yeah. you in and he thought she was a freak but we don't and we want to keep you in and we weren't yep. trying to fix you in any way, we're just trying to, you know, 
hone your abilities and mm -hmm. do good things. And then she realized that, and then that's when she snapped out of her like yeah. coma, I guess that she was in. Yeah. And then, and then she has everybody. to find she has to find the main lady from the from yeah, the, 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 you know, the aliens alien. uh, because she she was like I don't want the power anymore, and, she, and then the other and the lady took some of the power, so now she's kind of a little bit overpowered. They were kind of fighting, yeah. They yeah. were kind of fighting, so she was gonna give it to her, and then she realized that she didn't want to, and then now at the end where they're doing this final battle, it's kind of like an exchange of yeah. of power, and then uh, she was about to hurt Cyclops because yeah, the power was there. too great, yeah. And so she had to fly up into space so she and, wouldn't hurt anybody while she was both yeah them. hurting the other lady. And then it turned to a nice little phoenix. And it turned to a phoenix. phoenix finally at the end. Of now, what I must say about the third arc, it was exciting. They had some funny scenes with Nightcrawler. Mm -hmm. I thought he was, he had a, he was looking kind of evil, now, stabbing people with his uh, tail. Y'all know that Nightcrawler was nice through this entire movie. <laughs> and then when we get to the train scene, it just turns. He just snaps, and I and. I see the reason why they had him fight like that. I know because like the dude, one of the government people said that his son was like, you know, a, a, a son or daughter was a Big fan, fan of yeah. Nightcrawler. Yeah. And then that was the exact one that like died before his eyes. And that set him off. It's like, okay, now I'm going to fight you and kill you. And the way that he was fighting, he was fighting like Azazel. If you guys remember him from first class, yeah, first like class. first, like Azazel from first class basically had the same exact powers as Nightcrawler, just red and evil. Yeah, and so in this right. one, it, it, he kind of was like the nice Nightcrawler the whole movie, and then we got to the train scene, and then he turned to a Zazel. Mm -hmm. And then he got knocked out. Yep. So it was like, huh. Like, like, oh. I, I would have had him fight a different way. Yeah, Magneto but scenes were freaking Magneto amazing. Magneto scenes are amazing. The way he picked up the gun and started shooting at her, I was, was like, like, oh, whew, yes. yeah. It was and really then he good. like, he like, Put the put the metal through somebody's arm and then and broke it and yeah, then pushed like, him and then then he then he clamped and he like clashed all the aliens aside like the one of the train cars yeah, just, and just like closed it up and then he just finished off he literally like went like Ugh. threw it away and threw them away threw like garbage Ugh, trash I was just Cyclops like, oh. you know Cyclops over there pew 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 yeah pew. he had uh he had beast yeah. and it then, was yeah, a lot it was, it was a, a lot, lot. Um, that third act was pretty funny. Was it was cool. okay. It was okay of a movie. I, I give say. I give the movie a seven out of ten. Honestly, thought that more was gonna happen, yeah. considering that this seems like the very last arc of yeah. X Men. Um. Oh, and at the end, Professor X is not doing X Men anymore. Oh um, yeah, that's he renamed right. the school Jean Gene Grey school, school for the Gifted. Yeah, school for the Gifted. And then now Beast is heading the whole thing mm -hmm. with the Professor X, and he's somewhere in thinking. France or, or something like that. Somewhere in Europe. And him and Magneto and get together. Magneto. They have a little scene where like, oh, you got me, you gave me a home, blah blah. And they play chess. And that's yeah. the end of the movie. I don't think there's a post credit scene. We just left after there that. Was, we, there, there, there was, there like, was. Ah. No, I checked, I checked. There's no post ending. Yeah. There's no mid credit scene. There's no after credit scene. It's like so once the credits roll, you just gotta go home. Yeah. So, so it really felt like it was the end. So. It's like I don't know. I just feel like it could have been better. Well, it could have been better. I, I would have yeah. liked it more if it was like R rated. Like if they oh, let, never let her, let, I that know. Disney is owning it. No, no, it wasn't even Disney. I think. I mean, like, look, 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 look. We have, we know that our rated movies are successful. Deadpool one, Deadpool two. Look, Logan. They, they know. Look at Logan. They know not. They Logan. know not to mess with Deadpool. Okay, if you make Deadpool PG thirteen, that's not even Deadpool. But I'm saying people love R rated movies. Look at Logan. Oh yeah, we do. Look, I'm look not saying Logan. there's anything wrong with it. I'm yeah. saying the company. I'm saying something wrong that's, with it. that's people, what I'm saying. I'm saying I, I don't is, see anything wrong this with it. This is twenty. This is not Disney's thing yet. They yeah. just they just bought the company at that time. I think yeah. this is Fox's last movie. I wanted so, Venom to be rated R, but it wasn't. Not Sony. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it is very complicated about who owns the Marvel characters. I'm just saying a lot of these superhero movies would be greater if they were rated R. That's I think yeah, opinion. I would have loved. Uh, I don't care uh, who they. Uh, Dark Phoenix art is dark. Phoenix, dark. Like to it's be dark. dark. Let's, let's, be dark let it let her go crazy, and then you know the aliens for me. I give this seven out ten. The aliens were like, they, ah, they didn't really have a. They had a. Like you know, they're like, you know, we're there. Are they? They're there for a reason. And they're supposed know, to be there, like to be intimidating. There were some scenes that they're supposed to be like staring, like away, kind of off, off the camera, yeah. trying to be intimidating. And I felt no intimidation. Uh, yeah. I felt like I could jump through the screen and. Yeah, it's, it, it, they, they had their you. like best business suits on and yeah, they're like stuff. just standing where like. <laughs> Oh my god, I'll, I'll get you too. Like, I'll find you. What do you give the movie? I don't know. I give it a six. Six? I give it a Ooh, six. Well, that's jazzy. Cause, no, because I, I expect a lot more from an X Men movie. Like, uh -huh. first class is 
still oh, yeah. probably one of my favorite oh, yeah. ones ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I totally Mainly understand. because it kind of focused on Magneto most of the time. I would have loved an R rated and, Magneto movie. And he's amazing. Uh, let's get it. Can I'm we have an R rated Magneto movie? That would be great. Like, just to show him going crazy. His powers are definitely lit. Yeah. Anyway, comment below, like, let's take. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and do